In this mini series, I'm sharing my journal journey with flip throughs and thoughts about journals I have made in the past. Please find a link below with previous videos sharing my journals. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So today I will share the journals on the bottom row in the square second to the left. So in this section right here, we have this one, which is also a Digital Collage Club Design Team project. And I have some beautiful gifted journals here, like this one and these here. And then we have some miscellaneous ones in between here. So this one is another design team project and I really love this one. I made the cover out of heavy cardboard, used lots of gilding wax, covered the cardboard. I believe this was packaging paper, not 100% sure. Added some metal corners here, added some beads up here, really like that. Love the spine. And the closure are again these hooks that you use for hanging pictures on the wall. So there's one on the front, one on the back, and I just added these beads on top here. And then just added a ribbon. Not very practical for daily use. <laughs> And this one, I think, again, has a lot of details in it, which is probably why I love it. There's a few pages here from a collaboration with Joey DeFee. I think it was called Free Flow Stitching or Fast Stitching or something like that, where you added machine stitching to a project. But the point was not to go in straight lines, but to kind of have more movement in the lines. Oops, this fell out. I guess this goes in here. I added quite a few jelly plate prints here as well. Lots of collaging. Yeah, jelly plate. This was again from that collab. This was a fabric and again one of those hooks. <laughs> I need to use those again. I think I need to buy some more. I don't think I have any left. And that's it. And then we just tie this shut again. Then we have a very special one. It's a big one. <laughs> This is such a cutie. This was made for me by, by my friend Peggy, who's also one of my design team members and makes fabulous projects. And as you can see, this is made out of a children's book. And it has a camel on it because it is Egypt themed. And if you know a little bit about me, you might know that my hobby is Egyptian. And I have been to Egypt many, many times. And I have so many fun memories. How cute is this? <laughs> I never would have come up with something like this. I love it. I don't think I have ever showed this on camera. There's a little scroll here. <laughs> the 
images of the book are really cute as well. And there's a lot of empty pages here for journaling. There are some Dutch papers because Peggy is Dutch. So cute. I guess this is avocado dyed. Then there's some wallpaper pages here. This is a dragonfly. <laughs> I love this snippet roll here, how they pick out throughout the journal. You see that? Really cute. I love that. Really, really sweet elements here. Love the doily here. How cool is this? An Egyptian charm here. Love this envelope, which looks very handmade. I'm not sure if Peggy handmade it, but it's really, really cool. There's some fun charms in here as well. Not quite Egyptian, but still cute. <laughs> Love them. So many different paper textures. Here's another dragonfly. Sorry that I'm going through this relatively quickly, but there's so many journals to go through and this video will be endless otherwise. Gorgeous. I'm not sure if Peggy sells journals, to be honest. Maybe she does. I don't know. I will link her YouTube channel for you below for sure. She has so many fun projects. Love this lace. Beautiful. Look how cute. This is hand embroidered. <laughs> it's a pocket. Anubis. I still have an Egyptian journal on my to-do list. And in the meantime, I have collected so many items for it that I'm completely overwhelmed. Hopefully, I will master that emotion one day so I can make 
an Egyptian journal. Adorable, isn't it? Thank you again, Peggy. Then there is this one, which was a challenge by my friend Sharika, who sent me all these beautiful European vintage pieces. I'm not going to give you a detailed flip through of this because I have a whole playlist of how I made this, including a final flip through. So you can find that linked below as well. So this is just a panel. This was Sharika's letter with her instructions. This was the original cover that I had to use according to the challenge. So these are all original papers. So this is obviously all vintage and a lot of neutral colors. Very, very unique journal. Love this one a lot. I had to use some of everything that she sent me and she should sent me quite a lot as you can see this is all from Sharika and Sharika also has a shop where she sells these kind of papers and ephemera so I will link her Instagram and her hubby's Instagram because I think her hubby is actually the one that has the shop so that you can check out her beautiful vintage ephemera as well Love the little key here. Then this next one is not really a journal. It's more of a booklet. So I made this for a 30 day portrait drawing challenge that I gave myself this challenge. <laughs> and again, I have a whole playlist on this. So it's called 30 faces in 30 days. This was from last year 2022 and I will link this for you below as well so I have 30 portraits in here you can check out that series with a final flip through below then there's this one which I like a lot as well this one has I forgot what this binding is called again I will link this for you below so you can see how I made this exactly So this is, again, a very cool way to add single pages and there's no sewing involved. Also used lots of originals. And that's it. <laughs> I'll show you the spine again. It's a tab binding. That's what it's called. And then we have three more that were gifted to me. This one is made by my very dear friend Bea in France. Look at these beautiful dangles. And this one is made out of a paper bag. So you can see here and then there's a pocket here I'm not quite sure how she folded this <laughs> there's a pocket here so it looks like did she just fold yeah so this is folded up from the bottom I'm not quite sure how Bea made this but it's absolutely stunning and then there's two signatures in here and they're all beautiful neutral papers so so precious it's a great size as a travel journal as well there's some beautiful french original ephemera look at this cute pocket love all the sewing of course So 
sweet, so in love with this one. Bia, yeah, sweetie, in case you're watching this, thank you again. I love this so much. I don't think I've ever shown this either. Love, love, love. I hope you're getting lots of inspiration from these flip-throughs. I really don't understand how Bea did this, the front and the back. I don't know. <laughs> Just gorgeous, sweetie. So in love. This is so soft, this ribbon. Love it. In case you haven't noticed by now. This is also a super special one. I wish you could touch this. This is from my dear friend Maureen in the Netherlands. Look how cute this is. So apparently this is woven. So you have these golden threads and then these fabrics are just woven through and then I guess it's glued onto this paper bag. So another beautiful paper bag journal. And I adore this fun, elaborate bow here. <laughs> this is just so, so nice to touch. Don't I have like the best friends? <laughs> I'm so lucky to receive these beautiful journals. Okay, so pop it here. Some paper scraps and another journal with lots of gorgeously dyed neutral papers. How beautiful are these? I guess these are distress oxides because of the colors that are coming out. Love it, love it, love it. I'm not sure how Maureen dyed these, to be honest, but I am in love. Very simple, but the cover is just to die for. And this bow just makes it all come together, doesn't it? Like it really needs this bow. Another journal by Sweet Maureen. So here she added some beautiful floral elements. Love it. Look how beautifully this is dyed. These must be some kind of inks as well. So again, this is a paper bag cover. I so love paper bag covers because they are sturdy, but they are squishy and they make beautiful sounds. They're recycled. You hear this? Wow. Look, my name. <laughs> Some hand stitching. Some very, very delicate petals. I took this with me last year to the Art Journal Festival, thinking that I could work in here, and I attempted one spread, and then I gave up. Not because of the journal. I still absolutely adore this journal. Again, all of these neutral... Oh, I actually had two spreads. The problem was that everyone around me was working with these bold, bright colors. And I was trying to work with my vintage palette and it just didn't work for me. I was too influenced by everything that was around me that it just wasn't working. So this was one page. And then I think I have a spread here where I tried to, <laughs> where I couldn't help it but add a bit more color. 
which is fine. I mean, if you know my current projects, then you know how much I love bright colors as well. But it just wasn't working for me in this journal. Yeah, so this is unfinished. I think I went over this page, I don't know how many times. I was very frustrated. <laughs> this here is a stencil that we got at the festival and just some magazine cutouts. Yeah, I think that's all I ever managed in this journal. But one day I will add more. Maybe it'll just be writing. But it's so, so gorgeous. Look at this gold edging. Oh my goodness. Love it. I love how everyone has their own coffee dyeing techniques. Everyone's coffee dyed papers look different. And that is so cool. Thank you again, sweetie, for all of your beautiful gifts. And finally, this is not actually a journal, but this came from my sweet friend, Honey. I mean, how fortunate am I? This was a little booklet she made which accompanied the journal that she made for me in which I have done a lot of my junk journal snack videos. Let me just grab that so you see how, the, how well they go together. So this is the one. So she sent these two together. This one is getting really chunky, but I love this so, so, so much. And so she made this folder, I think, using some scraps. So reste means scraps. And then this is a folio that folds out this way and this way. I love how she has done the spine. Oops. How cool is this? So it's just made out of book pages. And I just love this. So there were some papers in here, which I have already taken out. And in this pocket, there's this little booklet here, which has another pocket here. There were some, some scraps in here as well. These are jelly plate prints, which I'm totally obsessed with. And then this has a lined notebook here. So this is also actually really cute to take on a trip or in your handbag when you want to note things on the way. And this is just made from a paper bag again. So look here, this is one long paper bag and the notebook is stitched in here with a three hole pamphlet stitch it looks like. And this is one long pocket so another cute idea for you thank you again honey so in love let's put them back Love you guys. You and I love to love, just to top it off. We can run and down for days, never let it stop. I just want your everything.